normal six phone includes you having uh, a phone steps and for a normal six phone the phone steps has to include you start with the landing page and uh, the landing page is where you drive traffic and that is where you create interest for your visitors on the phone apps. and on the lead map you can create uh, an offer for the lead magnetic page and give people maybe free giveaway like ebook like a uh, video and some others now from there you move them to the sales page where they will make the decision to buy and then to the action where they will actually buy the uh, your product or services which is the other page now to create an advances for them there are some platform you can use but today we are going to learn how to use uh click funnels so we are going to be using click funnels to create our sales funnel for today. Now, the first thing you need to do is to have an account. Create an account, go to uh, clickfunnels.com and then you can create an account and choose 14 days free trial. And after the 14 days free trial, you'll be charged. Your card will be charged. The basic package is around $97 and the premium package is $297. Now, so when you create your account, this is how the dashboard is going to look like. Then, let me walk you through some of the features in ClickFunnels. Now, this uh, tab, which is the ClickFunnels, it has a lot of menus on that. Here in the funnel is where you can create the funnels. The contact is where you will see the list and details of those that are subscribed to through your opt-in page on your funnels now to the sales amount of money you have earned from your funnels and the funnel marketplace where you can find tons of uh, different type of funnels landing pages and others then the build funnel where you can build your funnel as well now the follow-up uh funnel is like click funnels have their own crm platform for those of us that are not familiar with how CRM works, CRM means Customer Relationship Management. Uh, yeah, like email marketing service providers like MailChimp, GetResponse, however, and some others. Now, ClickFunnels also have its own built-in CRM platform. So when you upgrade to the premium package, you'll be able to ask, uh, use this uh, feature. Now, for the back pack is the ClickFunnels affiliate programs. Now, if you want to contact your support, you can see it here. Then your dash, your, your settings, and everything you can set up your accounts from here. Now, let's dive into creating a landing page. First thing we are going to work on is creating a landing page on our ClickFunnels account. Now, to do that, you need to click on Funnels. So click on Funnels. Now, you need to study. And create when you're talking about sales funnel, you need to have a strategy. Sales funnel is all about having strategies of what you want to implement. Let's assume you are selling a product, let's assume you are selling a skincare product. Now, you might want to create a sales funnel in a way that okay, maybe you want to give people a free giveaway, or maybe you want to uh, on the link magnetic, you have a landing page that you explain the details about your skincare product. Now you have a maybe like uh, a little magnetic page where you offer people free free details. It might be uh, tips on how to make uh, their skin look more fresh, look more good, and some others like that. Now people will have to leave their details. The main function of the little magnetic page is to capture our uh, visitors' information. Now, once we have their details, we have their emails, their first name, their last name, and some other details, we can then follow up with them. Because based on the uh, marketing statistics, it's known that it takes almost uh, six to seven times for visitors to see your product or services before actually deciding to buy. So that is why we need to collect their details so that we can follow up with them. Now, once you could dive into creating the landing page now using the click funnel. So the first thing you need to is to click on the add new funnel. Now you can either choose the core builder process or the classic funnel builder. Now I would recommend 
using this classic i usually go for a classic component builder because it has a simple approach but if you are uh if you want to choose like a premium or built-in template for the click for next you can use this cock uh builder process so click on create new for name now the first thing you need to do is to set your goals you need to choose goal what is the goal you are trying to create now we are trying to sell a skincare product and our goal is let's say okay we want to collect emails the first thing is that we first want to collect people's information so we are not trying to sell them any products so we need to click on collect emails now you want to sell your product you need to choose this and maybe you are you want to host like a webinar webinar is a live conference that you can connect it to zoom and some others so if you are into providing uh conference for people you have to choose this so let's click on collect emails now first give it a name so let's say skin care funny now this group tag the function of this group tag is for you to you can have up to like 50 as many as possible uh funnels in your click funny account but this group tag will enable you to group your funnels together so that it will you be able to easily choose or find and locate your funnels so let's give it skin care now click on build funnel Now I'm going to choose. I have a sample here. So let's assume we want to design uh, this example landing page. Now. So it's your uh, skincare product. Now let's assume we want to design something like it, like this. And in most cases, your client might give you a sample landing page as replica. If that's the case, you need to first study the landing page and check how the landing page was set up and built so now let's study this landing page you study this landing page very well figure out that uh there's an image here the logo is here okay this is the logo that is the word here and here this is the lead magnetic the lead magnetic page and there is an editing here so you first need to study the landing page very well so that you'll be able to know how you can tailor your design or click on it to suit the sample replica given by your client. So now click on this has some features you have to build your uh you have to build your your landing page. We're checking through this now, and before I we start the designing aspect, let me say this: for you to set up your funnel, funnel is all about content writing. So uh, I will call it sales copy, or you can rather call it sales letter. So you you have to be you must have the ability to write excellent content. You don't have you don't know how to write content you can hire people on on fiverr and some other platforms for you to for you for them to be able to be able to write the content for you so now so the first step is the opt-in page now the opt-in page is uh is the is where you provide people the free offer and then they will leave their details and then once they sign up, they, leave, they move to the thank you page. Now, this is not the final step we are trying to, to work on for today. I'm trying to, what we are going to work on is creating a landing page. Now, click on add new step. If you want to add another step, let's call it skin care landing page. Then just leave this part and then click on create for So now once you've successfully created then you need to choose there are some click funnels provide some uh, free templates some free templates you can use 
can choose from it and just design it. So that is one of the main reasons why I recommend using Flipkart. And so it has a lot of uh, advanced premium template features that you can use as well. And uh, if there's any other features that is not included in Clipkart, then you can uh, easily add it with, uh, with uh, code. Maybe uh, with HTML, with CSS, with JavaScript, and so others. Now, so let's choose a template. We are we are trying to design our landing page to look similar to this. So let's click on sales. So here you need to be very conscious of what you have to choose here. Now, if the purpose of this uh funnel step is to capture the information of people. So you need to choose the opt-in. Now, if you are to sell something, maybe you want to sell a product, you need to click on the sales. Now, if you want to host a webinar, click on the webinar, and if it's a membership program, we are trying to create in this funnel step. So let's say we are trying to sell people our products. So click on sales, and let's look for a template to use. Okay, let's choose this template, then click on select template. So, creating page. So now, once you create the page, it will look like this. Then, start, you can now start working on editing the template. So, click on edit page now. So you need to wait a bit and so loading editor so remember we are trying to design our template to look similar to this okay so let's start now uh, let me walk let me explain some of the features here now here is the desktop view of the template so as you can see this is the desktop view of the template that we see that we selected earlier so once you check the mobile view this is going to look on mobile now so let's change it back to the desktop then here is the settings the settings here, the integration is in this integration you can integrate external uh, CRM platforms. You now I told you earlier, click for they have some uh, have an inbuilt inbuilt CRM platform on the zone. But for you to be able to use it, you need to upgrade your click for account to the premium package, and that will cost you around two hundred ninety-seven dollars in a month. But maybe you are, you don't have up to that and you want to use a CRM platform like you want to email your subscribers, you want to send free giveaway to their emails, your subscribers' emails. So, to do that, you just need to come to here and integrate external CRM platforms like MailChimp, like GetResponse. So, just click on Select Integration, and uh, actually, I'm not going to uh, discuss that in this training. That's, that will be another training on result. So how to integrate a CRM platform with your ClickFunnels account? So you can you can integrate your ClickFunnels with your MailChimp, with your GetResponse uh, account, and some others. And when people sign up, uh, MailChimp will host the sending of the emails directly to your subscribers. So that's how it works. Now, for the SEO metadata, this is where you set up the uh, SEO. So that your template or your landing page or your phone is going to rank high in Google and show the visibility. So this is going to look like on Google. So you need to edit it. So let's say our title is uh let's say skincare products. And remember this this title, what you write here will be what is going to be recorded at the uh, beside the uh, website favicon. Of the of the template. Now the description. So you can write something like description here. 
So we sell skin care products to beautify your body. Beautify your body. Now the keywords. Here is the, the keywords are the tags that will help your templates or your landing page rank very high in Google. So you can use tags, let's say skincare. So after you when you write a particular keyword, you click on enter. Or let's use command skincare beauty beauty and some others now your name that means the, the name of the owner so let's say destiny and then the social image you have a social image you can add it so this guy is going to look like on when, when people search for a template or the you find your template or your landing page or home now the tracking code this tracking code is where you, you can maybe want to add uh want to track your landing page with maybe with facebook pixel or with uh google analytics you want to track those that are entering to your vehicles the actions that they are taking and everything this, this is where you are going to add the code so if you have a facebook pixel you can just add it over there now the custom css is where you uh you have it uh Maybe you want to add additional feature to your landing page or to your template that is not included in the click funnel template. So it is where you add the code. Now to the to the background, the background of the template. The background of the template. Normally, this you are, you are checking through this uh, template that you choose. The background is is white. Can you see this is the background of the template it is white now you want to change the background color and change it to color or you can use image you want to change it to another color just click here so let's say you want to use red orange you can change it here and any changes you make here you definitely see it under the background although here is the layout so I'm going to explain this now. The sections to design click for a template. We have the sections, we have the rows, and we have the columns, and then we have the elements. So let me explain now. The section is uh the uh let me say like the parent. The parent. What I mean by section is this now. You want to add a new section? Just click here. You see, the section is a green. So if you click on add new section. You can either choose maybe full width, wide, medium, or small. So let's first this, uh, let's delete. I will, I'm going to delete uh, the building template here. I'll delete it. You want to delete it? Click here and then click OK. Now delete. OK. So click on delete. So I'm trying to delete the section. Now delete. So press OK. So now remember we are trying to make our template to look like this. Our landing page will look exactly like this. So now this what I mean by section is this, this like this template now is having a section. This is a section, this is one section. From here to here is another section. From here to here is another section. From here to here now it's also another section, and that's how it goes on. Now, that, so that's for the section now. The section now is now having. You study this template very well. You figure out that this template is having the section color is uh, like uh, orange. So the section color, the color that they give the say that they use for this section now is orange. Now. After the session, we have the rules. Rules. Okay, let's let me let's do. Let's try to add a new session now. So if you click on add new session, let's choose full width. So now this is the session now. 
I'm going to change the I'm going to change the color now to get the color. So let's assume we want to use this as we are trying to design exactly is the same template. So now to get this color code, so let's try to get this color code. So the first thing we need is we need to cut out the color. So I'm trying to cut it with snp tool now. So now here is the color. So let's save it. Now you go to this website to get the color code. You go to this website atml I think color I will post slash info then this. Now you try to load the website. So we are trying to get the color code. Then you click on upload file. Click on upload file. So let's search. So this is it. Then you over the mouse on the color and then you click on it. Now you scroll down, you see the color code here. So you copy the color code. Then let's come back to our click for name and then you click on settings here. And then the background color. Scroll down, see the background color here. Then you delete this and then you paste it here. Look out. Can you see now? So now this is uh this is the background color. So we've done that. Now the next thing is the rows. So this particular uh section is having two rows. This is row one and this is row two. So it's having two rows now. So you click on add new row. So the row is with uh, the blue color. It's having blue color. So click on add new row. Then click on two sessions, uh, two column rather. You click on two column, or you can just drag it inside. Then uh, this is a is a content, so click on add new element. Now the element. So let's click on the headline now. The notice that this element, the element is, in, is inside the column, and the column is inside the rows, and the rows is inside the section. I hope you understand. So let me explain it again. This element, elements are the uh, maybe you want to add text, you want to add image, you want to add countdown, and some other to your template. So now these elements they are inside the row columns rather. Now the columns are inside the rows. Why the rows? They are inside the sections. So once you whenever you delete this section, we are trying to delete this section now. Everything that is inside this this column and this element and the rows, everything is, they are going to delete. So that's just that's how it works. So now let's add something like uh, beauty product. So let's write it beauty product. Then the color is white. So for you to change the color, okay, let me explain this. Here now, you want to bold it. The, the text is already bold. You want to italize the content. So you highlight it and click on this italic. You see, you've seen that the words are italized now. You want to underline it and everything. So we want to change the color of the text. Click on the settings and you see the text color and just click on white. You see that it has changed. So that's how you can change the text color. Now, here is an image. So let's assume we want to add an image, but I don't have the logo currently with me. So just click on add new element and click on image. Now, if you have the logo here, you can upload the logo. So click on settings and then click here. And then you can upload the logo directly from your desktop computer. So let's assume 
Let me use this. Let me use my logo. So you click on upload. Then just insert it. So I've uploaded the logo, but I'm going to delete it. Now this is another section. So let's assume we've completed the first session now. So this is another section as well. So we need to add a new section again. So full width. Now this now if you study this section now. Is having a, a background image. The background is the, the, the image, the image, this ladies, and then inside the, the section it has three uh, rows. So this is the first row, this is the second row, and this is the third row. So now let's let, let's do the practical now. So let's assume let's look for an image. So let's say beautiful image. So I'm trying to get an image from Google. So you can upload an image. So let's okay, let's use this image. You can upload an image from URL. So that I will, I'm trying to copy the I'm trying to copy the image URL. So you click on open image in new tab. Now this is the link of this image. Now I copy it. Then you come back to uh, click on the account. Then click on settings. Then click on image URL. And then click on search. Click on search. I think. Okay. Uh, I think uh, Cliffhanger have removed the feature. Okay, let's try to upload it manually from our PC. I'll try to upload it manually. And I can just drag it here. And it's going to upload it. So now, once you upload the image, and double click on it. Can you see it now? So this the background image is already is already uploaded. Now you can then proceed to add the rows. Now you are yeah, storing this uh, template now. This template is having three rows. This is the row one, the row two, and the third row. Now click on add new row, and then we are going to select three columns. I I mean columns rather. So select three columns. Now the first column doesn't have anything. Second column is add, is having text. Now click on add new element, and then you can click on add now. Then let's try the content. So look. Look yes in minutes. Look yes in minutes. So that is the first uh, content. Now to change the text color now. Check if you study this content now. The look yes young guy is having gray color. Why the in minutes is having uh red colors. Now if you want to do that. This is how you are going to do it. This uh in minutes, just highlight it and make sure. Okay, let's say the uh, look yes, you don't bold it. Then only the in yes, they are the uh, these two words are the ones that we bold. Now just click on the settings now. Then the normal text color, normal color of this look yes younger. Let's let's check for the color code. So just over your mouse. Okay. And then this is the color code. Copy it. Come back to our key folder. Then click on the text color and then we paste it here. Now the bold color. So we, uh, this this the the red. I think the maybe it's red or white. 
then click here in the bold color and then you paste it here can you see it now so now this is how you can do that so if you have any issue with that because sometimes it might be when i first start working on time when i started working on three funnel back then it was somehow frustrating so if you want to change the font size you can just increase it here and you want to change the font of the test you can change the font of the test here and others like that so that is how you can do that then for you to add this this is a bullet they are bullets so you want to add the bullets just click on add new element and then search for bullets bullet list so these are the bullet lists then you can start there you can start to write it and i hope you should be able to do that yourself now for you to add this now this is a it's like uh it's like a sales uh, opt-in on the landing page now if you want to add something like this just click here add new element and then we can search for the order form so let's see we can find other form oh actually I, it seems like we choose uh, I think we chose a uh, landing page so that is the main reason that that is the reason why i said earlier before you select any template to use on click for them you must uh, be able to recognize your key goal of that uh, particular template if you don't understand the, the main goal of the template and just select any template you may not be able to achieve the result that you want the landing page to achieve what you get for it so the reason why we can't find the other form here is because we selected a landing page earlier when we are trying to create the uh, to select the template. So that is why we can't find it here. So I hope you understand. So there are lots of let me explain the templates, uh, the element here. So the headline is I think we choose the headline. I want to add a small text, just use the sub headline, then the paragraph. Then the bullet list. I think we use all those uh, features. The image. Now the image pop up. This image pop up is if you, have, if you use this image pop up when people over their mouse on it and they click on it, the image is going to pop up. So that is the function of this image pop up. Now the video. You want to add video. Like if I want to embed a video here, you can just drag it. Or oh, let me just add it manually. You just click on video and then you can if you have a video published on youtube or on vimeo you can you can just copy the link well if you have the code so let me explain how this works so let's go to i'll try to get a uh a video on it, one of my videos let's go to youtube uh, So you'll be able to know so you can know how to embed a video on your on your landing page or on your click on it template. So click on let me go to my channel. Now let's assume I want to use this video now. Now you need to right click. Good day everyone. Today we are going to learn how to create a multilingual campaign to your Then you right click on the video, then you see copy embed code. So when you click on the copy embed code, then you come back here and then you delete this and then you paste your embed code here. So that's how it works. Or you can rather just paste your YouTube URL. So once copy the URL, just copy the link of your YouTube and then YouTube video, then just copy paste it here. So that's how it works. Now the autoplay feature is when um, people visit this template, you want this video to automatically play on the Zoom. So if, you, if I choose on, 
the video will automatically start to play whenever people visit my template. Now the controls. This control is people will be able to see the pause and play and some more that. So you can just click on it. You can use on because sometimes it might be frustrating to some people that are trying to minimize their data consumption. So the block and pause and some more that's like that. So that's how you can add video on the template. Then and just navigate through all these features to be able to understand it's quite easy you want to add collect people's email click on this input and now you click on the settings and the input set what do you want to collect is it their full name is it their email uh, the last name is it their email address let's assume you want to collect people's email address click on email address then the place where that test is what is uh, is going what uh, people will use to recognize the certain information you want to collect from the from them in the in the particular field. So let's assume you want to collect email address here. So your email address here. Or let's say type enter your email address. Enter your email address here. Something like that. Now email address is required. Now let's assume we are trying to collect their full name now. Then enter your full name. Here. Your full name here. Then you can click on required or not required. But for email, email will certainly it will be certainly required, hundred percent. Because in anything related to email marketing, email is the actual requirement we need. But for other requirement, other informations, it may not be hundred percent required. So if we if we click on not required, people will be able to sign up without. Either they uh, add their full name or not. But if we choose required, if they don't add their full name, they are not going to be able to subscribe on our homepage. So that's how it works. And some others like that. So, so that's how to design a uh, template or landing page using click funnels. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you for today.